my YouTube channel. I appreciate you being here. My name is Shauna Robbins, and I am a board-certified health and wellness coach. I'm also a best-selling author, a sleep expert, and a hormone expert. And today we're going to talk about the hormone estrogen. A lot of women struggle with sleep uh, when they struggle with estrogen levels. So as estrogen levels drop, uh, for many different reasons. It can drop due to peri or post-menopause. Um, it can drop to, you know, childbirth. There are many different times, just even naturally in your cycle throughout the month, your estrogen levels are going up and down. But if you have low estrogen, um, I really want to help you feel better. And I really want to help you sleep better. And I really want to give you the tips that I feel that all women should have because we should understand our cycles and we should understand our hormones and our hormones have this amazing dance that they do every month. And even once we're done with our monthly cycles, we our hormones are still such a huge part of our vitality and our energy and our wellness, our brain health, our heart health. Everything in our life really stems from making sure that your hormones are in balance and that you are having the right neurotransmitters in your brain. So estrogen is our topic for today. So let's talk about what low estrogen looks like. Um, low estrogen is going to be the, you know, the hot flashes, the night sweats, the um, having breast pain, having vaginal dryness, the worst vaginal dryness. Why don't women talk about this? I don't know. But anyway, that's another topic. Um, also, just dry skin, saggy skin. You could even have migraines and headaches that come on um, due to low estrogen. And then, of course, there's the brain fog right? That's the big indicator of low estrogen as well as brain fog. So if this is you and, and, oh, wait, wait, the most important, the reason why you're here, insomnia. If this is you and you're dealing with all these things, fear not. Um, this was me as well. You are not alone. And there's a lot that you can do for it. So there's a, there's a balance between estrogen levels and serotonin and serotonin is the neurotransmitter um, that's made in your gut and tells your brain that you feel happy, you feel joyful, your life is good, you feel good, you kind of have this lightness to your step. And when estrogen levels drop and become low, so do serotonin levels. So it's not a surprise that when women go in for peri and postmenopausal to their doctor, their doctor tries to put them on an antidepressant because they're trying to raise their serotonin levels. Well, today we're going to talk about some things that you can do that's naturally going to help both your estrogen levels and your serotonin levels, because no, you are not going crazy and no, you don't necessarily need a, an antidepressant. So um, first of all, you want to get your estrogen levels checked and you also want to get your neurotransmitters checked if possible. Um, there's saliva tests that you can do at home for your neurotransmitters. Um, I'm happy to work with you. We can work on that. I work with that with my clients all the time. Your estrogen levels should be tested by your doctor um, with a blood test. And so that's really going to give you an idea of where you're at. So when you find out that you do have low estrogen levels, and of course you've already known that, right? But when it's confirmed by a blood test for your doctor, here's a couple of things that you want to make sure that you are doing right away to help your estrogen levels. So the first thing is to make sure that you're getting enough exercise, daily exercise. And that's most likely going to be your cardio exercise. Um, I encourage women as they reach perimenopause and postmenopausal ages to do more weight training. But if you're really looking to improve your estrogen levels, which will also improve your serotonin levels, you really want to get some heart pumping, sweaty exercise going on four to five days a week, whatever that looks like for you, whatever you like, uh, all that matters is that you do it for 30 to 45 minutes, four to five days a week. That's really gonna help your sleep. It's gonna build your estrogen levels and it's gonna build your serotonin levels. Okay, next thing is gonna be morning sunlight. Morning sunlight is great for the brain. It's great to regulate the sleep-wake cycle. And um, it's really important to help build your serotonin levels and then your estrogen levels will come from that. So that's the next thing that you wanna do. The third tip that I have for you is that you need to find a way to de-stress during the day. 
Um, because if your stress levels or cortisol levels are too high, it's going to negatively impact your estrogen levels. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how cortisol and progesterone directly interact with each other. But for now, you really need to find something that you do during the day that helps you unwind in a healthy way. So no, drinking a bottle of wine is not a healthy way to unwind. Uh, neither is binge watching Netflix or online shopping, which I know, I know it all gives us a little bit of a serotonin boost, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about healthy things like yin yoga, meditation, gratitude journaling, um, walking the dog around the block, you know, being in nature, doing breathing exercises like box breathing. These are things that make a big difference for women that really help to bring down their cortisol levels. And that's really going to help to support your estrogen and your serotonin. Okay. So, uh, the other thing that you can do is you can really focus on supplements and foods. And so my favorite estrogen building foods are going to be your, your lignans, your flax seeds, um, your evening primrose oil. And I also really like legumes for this. So I like um, any kind of, you know, unprocessed soy. When I say unprocessed, I mean in the real bean form, like edaname is really amazing for you to, um, it has phytoestrogens, it has fiber, it has omegas. It's, it's such a powerhouse food. And I know soy's really gotten a bad rap and I really don't agree with that. I think if you can eat organic GMO free soy, which I know is hard to find because 90% of soy that's manufactured in the United States is actually GMO and sprayed with tons of pesticides. So you have to be particular about it. But if you can find organic non-GMO edaname, amazing. Eat it, eat it every day. It's really going to help your estrogen levels. Um, some of the other things that I really like are, like I said, flaxseed is amazing. Sunflower seeds are great at helping to build your soy. I'm um, sorry, helping to build your estrogen. Uh, and we touched on soy and um, also berries. Berries are fantastic at helping to build estrogen. My favorites are strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Of course, buy them organic if you can and eat about a handful or so a day. Um, it's a great go-to snack or for breakfast or in a smoothie. And there's some other fruits as well that help to build estrogen that most people don't realize. And that's looking like your plums, pears, apples, apricots, and um, peaches. So a lot of stone fruits, a lot of summer fruits, if you can't find them um, because they just don't grow seasonally near you, that's fine. You can always buy them in the freezer section and you can pop them in a smoothie or defrost them and eat them throughout the year. And my favorite supplements. So we'll end here on supplements. I actually really do like supplements to build estrogen. I have low estrogen. I take supplements to build them as well as eating edaname and all of these other things that I've recommended to you. Um, so my favorite supplements are going to look like this. It's going to be a, um, my maca. I'm having maca every single day, which is a radish root. And, um, I put it in my smoothie or I put it, blend it in my coffee and it really helps um, for my body to build estrogen. And I love chaste berry extract. It's also called Vitex. Um, I highly recommend that you check out that, do a little research on that. And of course, you know, omega-3 fatty acids. Those are really, really important at building your estrogen levels. So as your estrogen levels stable out, uh, your sleep will improve, your brain fog will improve, your skin, your hair, uh, your libido, everything, your joints. I mean, everything will just soften and become more youthful and vital and you will have better energy. So I really, really hope this video has helped you stick around for the next video on progesterone. And then the third video after that, we're going to talk about um, macronutrients and what you can do to keep your blood sugar stable to really help have hormone balance.